Hi, my name is Andre Zito. Welcome to the second part of the UX review of all of the MS tools that we have in our industry. In this video, we're going to have a closer look at Localize. My goal with the series is very simple. I have one Word document, one Excel spreadsheet, and I'm trying to get them translated using all the TMS tools in our industry. Just to recap, what are the files that we're going to try to translate? There is a great horror beneath the manor. I was recently playing this game called Darkest Dungeon, so I copied this text uh, from the wiki about this game. It's a very short one. Here we have a title. Uh, there's something bold and italic. There are a couple of links here. And then we have a simple spreadsheet with the list of the DLCs for this game. So these are the two files, very simple. I kicked off the series with Memsource. And the reason for that was that I had this idea to do a UX review of Memsource sitting in my backlog for quite some time. So I felt like I finally wanted to get it done. But now the question is, which TMS will I review next? And so in order to not overcomplicate it, not overthink this, I came up with a very sophisticated method. The list of TMS uh, put together by Nimzi. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 26, 27, 28. Okay, still 28. What I'm going to do is that I'm always going to roll a dice. And if I end up with the... TMS that we already reviewed, which so far is only Memsource, then we're going to roll again. So here we are. By the way, it's Saturday, 10.54 uh, a.m. here in Vancouver. Here we go. Oh, I forgot I have to stop it. Three, two, one, stop. Number six. So that's something on the top. One, two, three, four, five, six. Localize. My experience with Localize is that I have definitely never used the tool before. I think I visited their website once. Now, the mandatory disclaimer that I have to say is this is a UX review, so this is all just my personal opinion. Different TMS tools have different features that are better for some customers and are not right for other customers. So that's definitely not the objective of this video. As you know, I'm just trying to translate very simple document and Excel sheet, and I'm trying to look at the TMS tools more from the um, design perspective, like what are you trying to tell me on your website, on your homepage, and then from the project manager perspective, as someone who would be managing projects through your UI, through your app. Okay, enough talking, we have so many things to cover, so let's get right into the video. I think this link leads to Nimzi, so we don't want that. So, localize. <laughs> and let's go. Let's review localize. Okay. Um. <laughs> so, first of all, localized, we see three main colors in the logo. So, let's see if we also see them on the website. You can see from the first glance that their primary color seems to be orange, which is part of the logo. My first impression from this design, what I see here above the fold is that it looks very nice and clean, like the typical SaaS landing page that you would expect uh, with the value proposition, some text here, some call to action here. And then on the right side, we have some hero image. Um, what I like about this is I'm not sure if you're going to see the my CloudWords impression before this video, probably no. Um, is that CloudWords used a very, very generic hero image, uh, just like a guy in suit and something with, with languages. Um, so this one definitely looks like it was created specifically for localize. Localize. Uh, we'll see if they keep the style later on. What I like about this is that I like I like this kind of this kind of style, these illustrations and this graphic style. <clears throat> so the first impression is very very good. You can see that the, the try it free try it free is consistent. It's the one that they want me to click. It has I think it has the same colors. Um, 
but anyway it's the it's the 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 two buttons that stand out here <clears throat> because of the contrast and because of the color is try three so it's the same action so regardless of where you click it's the same thing sometimes i see that there are multiple call to action buttons that actually do different things so this is super nice and clean and i definitely like it it's it's simple and clean did i say clean already <laughs> Accelerate localization from code to delivery. Okay. This is one of the things that I fear that maybe localize only integrates with some uh, code repository and I'm not sure if I'll be able to plug in my simple Word document and spreadsheet, but we'll find out later. Menu is on the left side. Um, I don't have any objections. It, it looks super nice and clean. Next one. Okay. So of course we have the references or who is using this tool. Um, I think Memsource had the same thing. I think it's one of the most important things once you have big names to put it on the top. The preferred localization tools. Tool of 1500 plus companies. Very good. Again, the color is, I guess it's a different shade of orange. So perfect, we're still st Ticking to our color palette. Okay, moving down. Control the localization process. Again, this is this is something, this is the same style that I'm using on my website. So I'm just going to say that I like it for sure. It's uh this these are like the, the more detailed benefits. I, I assume that when I scroll down it will be on the right side text and something on the left side. Um that's what I like. So Control localization process. Here we have a first link, uh, which is actually underlined. This is how links used to look like before. I'm not sure if they would be actually better if they were orange. But yeah, for example, here you can see this is active link, this is active link. This one is underlined, this one is not underlined. And also, yeah. So it's kind of inconsistent to tell the people what you can click on. Maybe with the start now, I would either put it as a button or maybe add the uh, greater, greater S sign. You know, that looks like the arrow to the right. So kind of make it look like it's something interactive. Uh, right now it doesn't stand out, but maybe people are used to this design already. And they know that the last thing here, standalone, is 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 a text that you can click. I don't know. This is the only thing that kind of like stopped me in my thoughts. Let's, let's look at the graphics. I think it looks like they're displaying something from the UI, which is good to have an inside. It's moving a lot. I'm not sure if I can keep up with it. Maybe it just serves as a trailer, sort of. I don't know, like maybe I'm spending too much time like trying to understand it and it's just supposed to give me like a glimpse overview of how the UI looks like. And that looks good, at least from this animation. But just trying to understand the app from this thing, I'm not sure if I would be able to do that. Yeah, like you have some status updates. These, I guess, are workflows. This is again, status update, what has happened. And this is what monitoring your project tasks and some dashboard metrics where you are at in the process. Okay, sounds good. Okay, as I said, yes, it's on the right side. Shorten time to market. Uh, localize your product in parallel with development cycle. Use Adobe XD. I have XD. <laughs> Sketch plugins. Oh, maybe. Okay. Maybe we can use XD to plug in the copy from the Word document into Localize. We'll see. Um, so the links again are consistent with what we saw before. Um, I think these are good because at least they have the underline. I'm only questioning this this one. Maybe this one would good, look good if it was actually orange. Okay. Here we have next section. I think this looks like a different shade of yellow, which is the second color. Uh, it sticks to the color palette, so 
no worries about that. The contrast is good. That's a lot of the critic that I had for cloud words. Um, there's no issues here with that. The the style. <laughs> this is super nice. This is super nice. Like for example, this controller. It looks super clunky. It looks clunky. Is it the right word? It looks as if a child drew this. But it's super great because it still sticks to this one, you know, like even here you see, I don't know if these are supposed to be man and woman or like a girl or a boy, but it's very, very playful and I really like that style. So this perfectly matches that style as well. I, I really love it. So web apps, mobile apps, games, documents, marketing, emails, IoT, nice. Again, the links with the underline, and I guess these sections are, they don't go into, into their own web pages. Okay, when it comes to style, no issues. Boost your localization team's productivity tenfold. Ooh, tenfold. I don't like the word tenfold. <laughs> I think if you put 10x, it would look uh, better, but maybe it's because I spent some time with Mr. Grant Cardone who runs 10x whatever anything okay again we have the same graphic style that's perfect uh, we don't have much colors in here it's pretty much just black and white and some shades of gray but it looks great uh, we are left aligned which I think is good for a longer text I was always thinking that when you have these things you need to center them like this one but I think this looks better for for longer text. If you had a longer text, like a paragraph that spans over multiple lines, and if you had it centrally aligned, centrally aligned, is it centrally aligned? Yes. So like this, then it would be not as easily readable. So this is good. And uh, the images are also left aligned. So it look, looks good. So here, for example, you can see that here we have learn more and learn more. Now it looks like the same style as we had before the start. Now this one is bold. Here we get lower in the page. So I guess it's uh, less important, but here we do have the underline. So I don't know why we don't have underline here, or I would definitely prefer to see this maybe in orange. But maybe they just want to put orange on the try it free. So, so you just click the main CTA. I don't know, but that's what I see here. Uh, I just developers, translators. Okay, everybody's going to be happy and working 10x. Here we have a new section with a blue color. First of all, the blue color fits well. I think it's kind of like the same shade and the other colors thing is that the blue is here for the first time, very first time. It doesn't come from the logo. Since we're at the end, do they use green? No, they don't use green. So I don't know why they opted for blue. Maybe I would rather see the green shade of the, uh, not yeah, the green. Maybe I would rather see the shade of the green that's from the logo. Uh, but I mean, it's Till looks good, I would say. Maybe the green didn't match this this one below. I don't know this section with the what is it, brown or orange? Brown looks kind of brown. Uh, so we have one testimonial <laughs> with a picture. That's very good. Uh, the style looks great. Uh, the padding is consistent on the top, on the bottom. Um, I don't see any issues here. What I would definitely like to see is more, more references, testimonials, especially if in the beginning you say that you have 1500 companies, then more people, we need more people, more testimonials. Now, what is this one? The most loved translation management software. Okay, these are like what, aggregated reviews? I don't know what Captera does. I think it's like where people review software or something like that. Maybe it would be good. I cannot click anything if it was like a link so I can actually see on the, on the Captera's website 
if this is true. Uh, but but that's about it. So I guess it still kind of like fits into this what people say about localize, and it's the most loved translation management software. Well, we'll see. Again, we have a graphic of the cake, which can still fits the style that we had before the 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 nice hand illustration. Okay, uh, finalize. Finally, what do we have? Integrate localize with your work tools. Automate processes, eliminate routine tasks, and track progress with ease. Again, we have the same graphic style. Very nice. So this is localize. What does it mean? Does it mean that it integrates with everything around, or is it that the bird takes something from the left side and puts it to the right side? I don't know right now. Okay, so here we have the first button. Is this the first button after the main CTA? Uh, no button here, no button, no button, no button, no button. Yeah, this is the first button. Okay. So I don't know if they pay that much attention. I mean, if they want you to see all the integrations more than they want you to start now so that's what i'm kind of surprised like why we have a button here which definitely stands out towards the end but these other things here are not more visually distinguished from the regular links localization made easy why wait try for free let us show you how it works try free technically Try for free or let us show you how it works. How can I let you know that I want you to show show it to me? Maybe it would be good if there was a ghost button, same as, as here, you know. For example, here you see, you can try it free and book a demo. But here we have tried for free, which is this button, or let us show you how it works. I think that's where the demo button would come in. And also, you can see as I'm moving here, the button doesn't do anything, which is inconsistent with the orange buttons. So the orange buttons kind of like darken out a little bit. Book demo also doesn't react to mouse over, which is weird. Maybe it's by design, I don't know. I typically like when all the buttons react to mouse over. Uh, but this one doesn't react at all. So that's a little bit inconsistent, I would say. Finally, we have case studies. Uh, specialized. What? Specialized writing towards global success with 100% teammate enthusiasm. I don't understand the copy here. So case study, like who is it for? I don't know. I don't know much about case studies, but I would say that typically when you have a case study, you want to say who is it for, like who was your client and what you accomplished. But this is like, what is, what is specialized? I don't know what specialized means here. Riding towards global success with a hundred percent teammate enthusiasm. This just seems like a bunch of big words. And here we have the futa. All the links from up here, I guess. Yeah, not much to say here. Yeah, overall, uh, here we have the support chat thing window. We'll be back online tomorrow. Tomorrow is Sunday. <laughs> can I close it? Yes, I can. Okay. Overall, my impression from the homepage is very, very good. The only thing that I don't understand is some of the active elements. And that's pretty much it. Maybe here the blue section. Yeah. What I definitely like about this this the, the site is is this the graphic style and that it's consistent across and it looks clean. It looks it looks very nice. So now let us proceed to the to the to the registration. Try it free. Ta-da!
Ah! Uh, we have a dog here. Sign up. Okay, I can sign up with Google. GitHub. I don't have Microsoft. Ugh. Okay, let me just try the standard registration. Full name. Andrezito. Let's put in this one. I hope that email still works. <laughs> Password. Okay, I'm typing a weak password. Let's see if it works. Join an existing team. I don't have an existing team. Already have an account. Login. Nope. Create a new account. <gasps> Is it working? Is it doing something? Almost there. Yeah. Almost there. Wink, wink. Get the best. Yeah, also this thing here kind of like works with the style of being playful. Uh, so I like that. It's like, like not, not super serious. I definitely like that. Get the best experience by telling us a bit about yourself. So this is kind of like the same thing that we had with MemSource, uh, where it's like setting up your account. Role. What is my role? I am... I am... Who am I? I'm a project manager. Company name. AZ. Phone number. Why people ask me about phone number? <laughs> How did you find out about localize? Order. Complete sign up. <gasps> oh. 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 Wow. 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 Gita. Hi, Andre. Should you and I have a video call to go through the features? Ooh, thank you. Uh, in case you have any technical questions, nope, I don't need it, but thank you. And now I just met, now I just noticed that this green is the green from the logo, so that's nice. Okay, my very first impression is very nice, very nice. It looks very dashboardy, like a lot of numbers here to track. Um, and I definitely want to confirm again that this is the first time that I see this. I'm just wondering, let me check my email quickly, if I got anything... Okay, I checked my email, I checked my email and I got no email yet, and I guess there's no need to confirm or verify my email address. Okay, let me grab my drawing thing and let's see what we have here. So, in the top we have the... 14 day left in trial, upgrade now. As you can see, if you remember what I did for MemSource, MemSource has a big button, actually it's the biggest button in the whole UI, which is to subscribe. These guys are keeping it a little bit more subtle, which I definitely like. Okay, what do we have here? New project. Oh, they even displayed the uh, the keyboard shortcuts. I mean, does it work? Is it Shift and Control and P? No, it is. Nice. Okay. Expand all. Collapse all. Oh, collapsing the projects. Oh, okay. So I guess we have a great view of the projects that I'm working on. And we already have a sample project here. Um... Do I want to use the project or do we set up our own? Maybe I can just try to... So since this, we're, since I'm trying to cover what you guys would see if you started using it, maybe I should try to make sense of it. So we have a sample project. That's fine. That's the name of the project. This is how far it is base words, base words, I assume that's from the source language, team, you can put multiple teams on a project, QA issues, I don't know what this means, what it means QA issues, is it some automated QA checker, keys 12, I have no idea what keys mean, and we have a bunch of things here, I don't know, I'll need to change my Cursor to something else. Actually, yeah, let me just go back to this thing. I don't think I need to draw anything right now at this point. Upload files. Oh, upload 
files, I guess, download files, tasks, contributors, activities, screenshots, glossary, more, more, nice. Yeah, so what is this English? English is 92% done. Does it mean it's part of the target languages? What is this thing here? This dot. If it's 92% done, and it can be source language, right? What is this little thing here? If this was like a something to mark what is the source language, why? Title. Is it in the title? Should be in the title, right? Before. Before, yes. I don't know what this means. I have no idea. Chinese simplified French, German, Hebrew, Japanese. Words to do 180. Okay. Russian. Yeah, you can see that actually, yeah, for English, we don't see how many words are there to do and what is unverified. So it must be search language, but why does it show 92% done if the project is 27% done? I don't know. Oh, you can even add language from here. Nice. So what are these options? Words in language 183, added in bilingual view. Nice. Show duplicates, language settings. Okay. Okay, we can search. What can we search? I don't even know what we can search. Doesn't matter. So, okay, so that's the project's view. I do like it. I'm not going to lie. I'm not sure if this, how would I call this? If this view is the best to track where each language is. I would maybe rather see it in a tabled format where you can sort things by what is not done yet instead of this view. I don't know how th this, this interface looks like if you have, let's say, five ongoing projects into 10 languages each. How convenient it is to, to, to get the information that you need. Because I don't, so far, I don't see anywhere else where you could set up some dashboards or some views and just by being here okay you can move you can resize here that's just collapsing and this is moving the order of the projects but this layout which gives you the details of your project for each language seems to be fixed or at least i don't see anywhere to set up a different view so that's my comment right now. Anyway, let's go create a new project. That's what we're doing, right? Create project name. Darkest Dungeon. La la la. All for it. Uh, base language. Okay, base language. English EN. Okay, you can also have different variants. For Oh, you have custom languages. Check. Czech, Czech Republic. It's the same thing as Memsource. They also have Czech, just Czech, and Czech, Czech Republic. Maybe it has something to do with the way you set up your languages in your code, and that's why you need <clears throat> just the plain Czech and the Czech, Czech Republic. I raised the questions in the Memsource video that why we need to have the country if it's just one Czech. But also, I guess it's to be consistent. Anyway, well, okay, let's stick to English. Options, reviewing. Good, we have a tooltip here. I like it. Turn on to enable a reviewer access for project contribution contributors. Uh, fuck it, we don't need to review. Project types, localization files. Uh huh, documents. Uh huh, super for non key value documents. HTML doc. Available starting with essential plan. What? Please. Oh. Okay. I, I don't even know what plan I'm, I'm on. 
this might try to cover everything. Okay, upload your document files. I shall do that. Okay, where are... Pum -pum. Here we go. Oh, it's... Oh, it doesn't support exhaust. Fuck me. Ready for import. Docx. Four keys. I still don't know what the keys mean. What are keys? Couldn't be a paragraph? One, two, three, four. Could be. Possibly. Okay. What do I do with the spreadsheet? Oh, I just... Let me try to migrate the content into a Word document. Okay. So this is our new document that's pretending to be a spreadsheet. Good. Close this one. Doesn't support. And let me grab this boy. Okay. <laughs> there we go. So. And for this one, it says 24 keys. Is that what we think? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it must be. It's okay. So key means one paragraph. Okay. Projects, Darkest Dungeon, English. Wait, did I mess up the setting when I was creating the project? Wait, did I have the option to... Wait, I'm confused now. I'm very confused. Base language. I created base language, right? That's the source language. So I didn't have the option to... Okay. Right. Am I doing the right things? Okay, let's try to upload it again. Upload, upload, upload. Detected language is English. Yes, very good. So there's an arrow here. Is this where I pick the target languages? Okay, and we do check, yeah. Japan, yeah. And we do German. Okay, the input for the languages is look, uh, looking and working great. Uh, I didn't mention anything about the UI, but so far it seemed pretty nice. And if you remember when I was talking about Memsource that the buttons are teeny tiny, these buttons look good and they do something. So it looks very good. Okay, add languages. Wait, what? Do you see what just happened? Okay, yeah, English is marked with the, the dots. I guess that means the base language. But I uploaded my files, then I selected the languages, and now my documents are gone. Bleh. Okay, I uploaded them again. Do I need to save it somehow, or what do I need to do? Languages edit, okay, go, go away. Okay, ready for import. Oh, I need to import files. Ta-da! Two files were added to the process queue. What is a process queue? What is this thing? Display placeholder says blocks. Number position in the project. <gasps> Process queue. Okay, let me click it. Darkest dungeon. Active processes zero. Finish processes. Import. We import it. Okay. Okay, I've added the languages and I import in the files. Sure. Okay, now what happens next? Why am I still here to upload things? Should I be here or what is going on? Okay. What is going on? I 
already have six QA issues. <laughs> oh, wait, what? This page is the project editor where you can manage translation keys and perform the actual translations. Oh, okay. So we have a tutorial, nice. Toggle between the multi and bilingual views here, okay. Uh, delete project languages, yeah. Oops, we have an issue. Wait, is this an issue? I don't see any next here. Click to edit and review suggestions. Oh, in order to continue the tour, okay. You can enter your translation for the corresponding language into this text box. Try to enter some text. View common. Oh. View common. Yeah. These are glossary entries as well as Google blah blah suggestions. You may also see translation memory and uploading results here. Oh, there's a way to upvote. Is it what the reviewers do maybe? Click this check mark to continue. Okay. Using these buttons you may review translation for the given language. So it says to verify and verify and view transition history. In addition, there is a red indicator showing that the quality assurance check failed. Yep, okay, that's what I thought. Okay, mismatch. Here you can see the translation key name, platform, currently set to web, tag, description, and translation file it belongs to. Hover your mouse cursor over the key to see the action buttons. Add a new translation key. You can order professional, yes. Okay, what did I say? Comments, clipboard, screenshots. Phil Coleman. Oh! Okay, we have a string and then we have all the things. Anyway, I don't want to do it on this one. Let's go back to projects. And here's my darkest dungeon. So first of all, let's look at this, what we have here. So we have the three target languages. Okay, now we know that this is a base language. It's done 100%. So I don't know why this one wasn't done. Oh, maybe what it means is that if localize is mostly about integration with something, it maybe means that it detected some changes in the source code, but you still haven't imported it. The changes here so that's why it's not done I don't know what do we have here oh darkest dungeon is done 25% which I guess means it's counting the source as well isn't that a little bit confusing words to do 861 words to do for 80 okay He's 28, team 1, he weighs you 6. So, how did we get to the thing? Do I click here? Yup, 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 yup. Okay, here we are, started from the bottom. Wait, but this view is different. Document. Okay, so this is key one, key two, three, four. We have the tags there, and we are translating into Czech Republic. If I switch to Germany, it should be Germany. I think I would prefer to do it like this instead of doing it uh, in the multilingual view. But how was it? How did I see it before? Wait, projects? Does it if I click the document? No. How did I get there? This one. I don't have this thing. Do I have it? Darkest dungeon. I don't see it here. I don't see the button here. 
Am I blind? No. I don't know, maybe it just doesn't work with the document? I don't know, whatever. Let's start with the, the Germany. The Germany, the Germany. Ooh. Oh, I'm getting suggestions. Oh, I can use all three. Oh, I can use all zero to insert source. Which in this case is the one that I need. Oh, it worked. It worked. I press Alt zero. <laughs> and then we confirm. Can I confirm with enter? No. Tab next. What is the 15? Tab next. Oh, it worked. Darkest dungeon. Oh gosh. I don't have any foes. There should be foes here. Why, why are they not there? What the fudge? And also it adds space. Why does it add space around this thing? Foes. It's fine there, right? Where is fine there? Yes. Fine there. Darkest dungeon focuses on Abenteuer. Why do we have Abenteuer here? That's weird. The tags are so bad. Or whatever this is. Bruh. It hurts me. It hurts me. It's characterized. Maybe I should try a different. Engine, Darkest Dungeon, Technic Zigdurg. Okay, that's it. Um, what was I supposed to do next? QA issues. Spelling grammar. What? Errors. Where? Doesn't know Darkest. Add Darkest to dictionary. Oh, okay. It has its own dictionary. Got it. Side scrolling optic. Sure, let's add it. Darkest. See? Why? Okay. Now it, now it doesn't show, but this thing is still here. Why is it still there? It shows one QA issue, but I fixed it, I think. It's the same one with the darkest. Same thing here. Okay, this one was removed. Why is this one... St what is the issue here? I don't understand what is the issue here. Okay, so now that I translate it, what do I do next? Is there... Mark is unverified. Oh, it's verified already. Got it. Wait, how about I mark this unverified? Now I mark this verified. There are still QA issues. What are these QA issues? I have no idea. Okay, how does it show in the, in the overview? Germany, 64% done. And we have 50% done for Darkest Dungeon, yeah. That's because it also counts the base. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know why. It does not make sense to me. Germany. Do I have any filter here? That's weird. I click Germany. Why does it only show the first document, the about? What about the DLC thing? That's weird. That is weird. That is weird. I'm telling you, it's weird. What am I missing? Can I only translate one document at a time? Czech Republic. DLC, do we have it? We do have it, it's right here. That's weird. I don't get it. Yeah, it even says search by document order. Why am I not seeing the other file? I don't have any filter. What? 
What, 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 a what, what, what? I'm confused. I'm super confused. Am I just not scrolling enough, or what is going on? Oh, I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Let's go to the DLC thing for Germany. Germany, Germany, Germany. DLC. Let's go with this one. What is this one? Description. Beschreibung. What is that thing? What is this one? Platforms. Platforming. Yeah, just put in the thing. Price. Why does it add the stupid smile? Uh huh. That's. See? Oh, is it? Oh, I see. It's probably because I'm. Probably because I'm pressing the wrong one. I'm pressing the one on my numpad, which still works, but it puts in the stupid smiley, the crimson cord. What? Okay. Why did it look different? Okay, where are my suggestions? Okay, they're coming up. <laughs> See? This is what I don't get. Up, I pressed Alt 1. And it's not the one on the numpad. And the way it inserts it is this one looks like the block. But this one doesn't. Only when I get out, it turns into that, this nice one thing. That's weird. When I do Alt 1 on numpad now. See, now it adds fine. But it adds this stupid thing. Because I guess that's the code for the smiley. So I think what I maybe need to do is do Alt 1 and maybe do space. Yep, but then, it, then I need to delete the space. Which is weird. It's weird, weird, weird. The shield breaker. Let's do MS. Or no, whatever. I'll stick to, let's stick to Google. Yeah, this, the, this bothers me a lot. Just delete the motherfucker. Okay. And what are the suggestions that we have here? Is this coming from PM, from what I already inserted before? The color of madness. The color of madness. Okay, let's try again. Alt 1. Yep. Still. It bothers me, okay, I can just do Alt-1 and just go next. Cosmetic... Free cost and loss, the butchers... Oh! There, what? Flesh Circus. Sure. Surprise. PC. Free. And that's it. Uh, we have QA issues again. Oh, I hate these QA things. Okay, so now it's done. Let's go back to the projects. Do we have... Oh yeah, okay, good. <laughs> I, was, I was surprised. Um, okay, German is now 100% done. Good. When I click it again, I only see the first file. Where is the second file? files. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. There, I found it. I found it. That is technically weird. Why is this so hidden? Like, if I'm translating English to German under the Darkest Dungeon project, 
I do have the indication here that this is the file I'm working on, but maybe it would be better if there was like, I don't know, some heading that this is the about document and there I could switch it to the other file. Wouldn't that be better? Bronze lotion memory, we don't care. What does the history look like? Yeah, good. <laughs> mm, okay, so now we have the whole German. I need to take a break. I have a call. We have a call in four minutes. So I'll pause this video right here. KKK, I am now back. Is there anything that I wanted to say about the user interface here uh, when it comes to the editor? Yeah, I like the fact that the, the tags, these blocks, I think they call it blocks, placeholders, yes. Um, they are pretty colorful, so that's good. So we did German. So in the same way, I'm going to do the other two languages and I'll skip this fast forward. Okay. We are back in the overview. Now we have everything translated. Okay, sample project, I don't care about you. Uh, darkest dungeon done, 100%. Base words 447. Keys, so that's paragraphs. I think maybe it refers to keys because it's mostly for the key value. Things like JSON. QA issues 22, whatever. Download. I guess that's what we want to do next, right? Is there anything, any final comments that I want to do about the UI? Hmm. Oh yeah, maybe the only final thing that I wanted to say is uh, the segmentation. Maybe it's because it doesn't work well with the, uh, the document. But... In Memstores, we had the traditional, you know, segmentation by sentences. Here, everything is in the same paragraph. That's all I can say about it. So, projects. Let's download. Let's see if it works. Download. Format HTML. Oh, no. Okay. Doc. Download doc. Include tags. Think we shouldn't be. Think we shouldn't have to s set anything here. Yeah, why is English there as well? Build and download. Let's see. Dark Dungeon. There it is. Cloud Word. So we're doing number four, which is localize and. Translate it. Let's copy everything out. Again, I don't know why I have the English there. Did they actually build the whole English from scratch or is it the same one? So let's go back here. Let's open the English one and let's open the German translated. Dark is Dungeon. Yeah, so at first glance it looks okay. The only problem is the stupid extra space that was added by the parser. That's all the... There, go away. That must be all the extra tags that it added. Like this one. This is the extra space. Oh yeah. Actually it's me who added it. Yeah, it's me. Oh, maybe it's like a non-breaking space? Is this supposed to be a non-breaking space? Yeah, so that's a problem of my uh, formatting. I would have to delete that. I actually do it like this. Yeah, this is how it should be like. So that's on me. That's on me. Help them find a kinematic Erzähler. Nach Glas Hamlet. Looks fine. What do we have next here? It's DLC, right? So, open the English one. 
we couldn't have submitted a spreadsheet. And here we have this thing. Yep, it looks pretty good. I think that's it for for localize. Is there anything else that I wanted to say? The UI is very simple, which is good, I guess. Hmm. I wonder how it works if you have mo ma so many different documents. But again, maybe maybe the objective of localize is not to translate some simple documents, but to plug in uh, and grab the content from other tools where the content lives. So I think that's it. I think we're done for localize. Ta da! And that's it, that's the end of the video where I reviewed Localize from the UX perspective. If you like this video, if you found some value in it, please give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and definitely do consider subscribing. As I mentioned, I'm committed to doing the review of all the TMS tools in our industry, which will probably take me around one year because there are like 28 different TMS tools. So hopefully I'll get my hands on on all of those and give you guys my honest and authentic feedback and experience and suggestions um, when it comes to each of the tool. So thank you very much for your time and see you in the next video. Bye bye. Thank you.